Load Spin Labs formed in the College of Engineering at the University of Washington. Amit Khandar and myself were grad students in Professor Kanan Krishnan's lab. We were studying magnetic particles and their applications, and we sort of hit upon this idea and, and saw some opportunity. The technology that Load Spin Labs has developed is really a magnetic nanoparticle tracer for use in medical imaging. These nanoparticles, which we call them tracers, are injected in your bloodstream and they help clinicians and radiologists to identify blood vessels in the heart that are potentially blocked or attenuated. There are three major imaging techniques that are used in, in, in medicine. Everybody knows them. They are MRI, PET, and CT scans. All these are old techniques. These are 50-year-old techniques, 30-year-old techniques. Very seldom does a really robust new imaging technique come on the market. And magnetic particle imaging is one of those. It has the ability to completely disrupt the current modalities of imaging. What we have at Loadspin is truly innovative because it shows the best response to MPI. You get the best signal and spatial resolution that help clinicians to get useful information from the angiography procedures where you can delineate from bl one blood vessel to another. We're actually developing a product that improves the safety for patients that need crucial care. The current market for iodine tracers, which is what we're really competing against, is over a billion dollars a year in the U.S. for these angiography procedures that they do. So we see the market potential and we know there's an opportunity uh, from a safety perspective that we can do better. Philips, the inventors of MPR, or magnetic particle image, and Bruca, who has licensed the technology from Philips and is building the first preclinical imaging system, fully recognize the value of load spin. C4C has been really instrumental in helping load spin to be where it is today. Mike Clark, our tech manager, has been really helpful. Recently we've seen that there's interest and potential for load spin not just in magnetic particle imaging but in uh, magnetic resonance imaging and that's a huge market already. So we see that as uh, a very near-term potential for, for uh, load spin to uh, both get some initial products in the marketplace and get FDA approval as well as get some initial funding. For us, C4C has been absolutely central to moving our technology from the laboratory to giving it first a commercial identity and then giving us the support, not just once, but on a consistent basis. Chris Wood, who is an entrepreneur in residence at C4C, has helped us uh, crystallize our commercialization plan and he's also provided some access to potential strategic partners. The Loadspin team works really well together. I think we all share a vision for what this company can be and a real belief in the technology. We feel like this technology, when it does become clinically relevant, it can help patients everywhere that have kidney disease, but not just them overall, a safer alternative and just peace of mind that this technology is not going to cause any harm or toxicity to them. As I said, there is truly revolutionary imaging technology around the corner. That technology is going to be practical only if it has the appropriate trace. Load spin is going to be the key for that, for those traces, and those traces are going to be the key for this revolutionary imaging technology.